President Bongbong Marcos Jr. on Tuesday announced plans to expand the coverage of the government's fuel subsidy program to include tricycle drivers. In the same press briefing since he was sworn in as president, Marcos said tricycle drivers have been left out of the program that is this the transport sector amid the prevailing COVID-19 pandemic and the continuous oil price hikes. Let's take a look. Uh, we just discussed that uh, we are going to try not only to continue the fuel subsidies for the transport sector, but to, uh, to um, uh, expand it to include the tricycles, uh, which up to now have not been included. And so we, are, we, we talked about in the cabinet uh, meeting, we talked about the funding, where it can come from, uh, and uh, how we are going to manage the uh, uh, how, how we are going to manage uh, the funding for uh, the additional uh, fuel subsidies. We have enough budget, I think, to last for most of this, no, for this year and a little bit beyond. Uh, but we still have to find that, we have to find that money if we're going to continue. Department of the Interior and Local Government, or the DILG, announced that over 600,000 tricycle drivers nationwide will be receiving fuel subsidy. The Land Transportation, Franchising and Regulatory Board, or LTFRB, started releasing fuel subsidy for other public transport operators and drivers in March. However, the board was waiting for the beneficiary list of tricycle and delivery drivers from the DILG.